What's up everybody? Um, we're going to continue the turbo build and I'm going to weld a bracket to hold the turbo up on the car. So uh, I'll show you what I've been up to. This is where we're at. I got the manifolds cut uh, better. I don't remember if I did that last time, but uh, this is my little bracket for, to hold the turbo. Here's the, uh, the flange that I'm going to weld to. Then this is going to hold it up and I'll put some gussets on the bottom. I'm going to weld it right to there over this. A little cooler or uh, transmission cooler is just hanging there for now. I think I'm going to keep it there. I think it'll work and uh, just be able to work right there. I did want to put the exhaust out the side over here and move these wires and have it come down and straight out the side. But I think I might do a hood exit. I kind of didn't want to do one, but I think I'm going to. But that's only going to be a exhaust valve out, but I'm going to run a 3 inch all the way back. I removed the sway bar, that's off. So that's just uh, hanging out right there. There's lots of space, space down below. Um, let's see, what else? I got the power steering hooked up. So I wanted to know where that was going to be. It's going to be right there, so I got to come up over here, down and around, connect to that flange. So that's the plan. We're not going to do any hot side today yet. We're just going to get this welded on there. I'll probably take off the exhaust housing just so I don't have to load the turbo in and out. Also, I got want to gusset gusset it before I put the whole weighted turbo on there. And I'll show you over here. This this was my end link right there. That was like about to go. So probably a good thing I took it out. Everything's a mess, always. I'll clean up one of these days, but that's gonna get welded on. Get the flange on there. Keep uh, planning it out. Also, I gotta move these lines because the exhaust's gonna come out through here. I'll probably move these up and around, come up over there, and who knows if I'll keep that right there. I I think I want it right there, but plans always change. So let's go ahead, go ahead and weld that up. I wanted to get it close as possible to the radiator without it touching because these are the flange bolts and then uh, it's only got a bolt right there and that's enough space to put my uh, little blank turbo blanket on it so let's tack it up and see how it fits. Well, it holds that much weight without gusted, so I think that's good enough for the housing. Let's see how it looks. This thing is heavy. Come on now. There we go. So basically right there. It is leaning a little bit down that way. Yeah, it is leaning. Hmm, it's probably just the way uh, I welded these beams on there, which is a uh, kind of sucks. But I could wash up this side to square it out, square it up. It 
looks like it's leaning. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to fix this and level it out, maybe go a little bit positive up. So when the weight of the turbo goes on there, it'll sink it down just a, just a pinch. But it's just angled like the, the wrong way. Um, I think it's going to be really hard to see this uh, gauge when I have it on there to weld. So I'm going to try to break those, probably this front weld, lift it up, hopefully it breaks these back welds, and then uh, I'll lift it up and try to weld up front to hold it where it is, maybe plus five degrees, maybe that'll level it out, hopefully. But other than that, I think, I think it looks pretty good. It'll tuck itself underneath the hood. We have lots of space down below. I think I have an idea for this hose. This is kind of in the way. I might snake it around here. If that works, we'll see. And then maybe I'll just do an upright up pipe right there. I'm gonna grab a piece of exhaust. Now this is a four inch elbow. Um, this is a five inch out, but I have a five to four that necks down. And then also I'm gonna have a little piece of five right here. And that's gonna angle out to three inch going back. And we're gonna put it right back there. But if we have that five inch right there, I think we can do a four just like that. And heat wrap this and I think hopefully this will be safe. Otherwise I'll put some uh, some heat reflective tape on this and uh, it won't melt hopefully not yeah I think that will work pretty good if I go like that also we got a uh, door waste gates if I move I can't see this but uh, if I move that radiator hose and snake it around over here and go down be able to get the wastegates connected right to that five inch which was the plan yeah I think that's gonna work and then I'll move this hose I'll snake it around here and come up through here I don't think that matter that much so that's the plan um, I'll break those welds I'll retack it hopefully I can finish all that and then uh, after that I can keep that on, well, I can keep the turbo flange on there and I can start building the hot, hot side up to it. And then after that, put the exhaust turbine on and then we'll do the down pipe slash up pipe later in the week. So let's do that. I got it a lot closer now. Um, there it is tacked in. What I did to break it, put a jack underneath there with some wood. I tried to bend it up to broke the welds, which is uh, definitely what I wanted to do. And it was super easy. But anyways, it is like almost zero flat that way. But I can tell it's a little rolled like that, which uh, bothers me a little bit, but I can live with it. Um, ideally, I think I'd want it tilted that way, just so uh, the exhaust you know, better with bends and whatnot. I actually thought about doing that, having it come down like this into there, which would have probably been more ideal, but the wastegates and whatnot probably been would have been harder to like fit in there. So that's that's totally fine. It's hard to fit this thing in here in the first place. And then also it's uh I don't know if you can tell on the camera, it's tilted back a little bit just like a couple degrees so a couple degrees that way a couple degrees roll I shouldn't like stress all about it, but I do like a little bit but it is flat this way which is uh, good for the journal bearings to get the oil out and I noticed a problem right here the coolant uh, it's gonna come right over this hopefully I can fit it over the the bearing uh, center I think that's what you call it I'm not 100 percent sure but like the bearing center hopefully it'll fit over here I don't know if I have a like a small bend like this which would be pretty awesome I wish I could get one of these custom made but I don't know it's hard to do that this I had like 
right like that. That's definitely not going to work, so I'm going to have to cut it back here, maybe get a 90 and bring it right in. Hopefully I can make something work. I think they make 90s, like coolant 90s, and I can make it work. And then also, I got this piece, which is a really extreme 90. It's almost past 90. I'm going to use that at the bottom and go to the side and come around and come up there. That will work uh, perfectly. And then, uh, yeah, we're just moving right along. Cooler lines, I got to bring those out. They'll be... Uh, probably next I'm, I'm gonna leave the cooler right there and then a pipe but yeah I think I'm gonna finish welding that uh, put gussets on it I'm not gonna film at all because uh, it's a lot of editing I'm not good at editing but hopefully I'll do a big video at the end maybe maybe not we'll see but I'm gonna end it be sure to subscribe um, if you haven't already and uh, be sure to come back to see this thing fire up and hit the streets. But, anyways, have a good one, and uh, be sure to come back. <laughs>